your student nurse from St. Ferdinand College. Today, I'll be performing uh, the assessment for ears and hearing activity. So, the first thing that we're going to do is to introduce ourselves to the patient. Hi, ma'am! Ako po si Rachel Minuzano, ang inyong nurse ngayon. Then, the next one is identify the patient using the two identifiers. Ano pong pangalan niyo, ma'am? Jose Alfredo. Birthday po? January 29, 1967. After identifying the patient using the two identifiers, we need now to explain to the patient what are the procedures that we're going to do. Uh, so ngayon, ma'am, i-check naman po natin ang inyong uh, tenga at ang inyong pandinig po. So these are the equipments I gathered for the assessment of ears and hearing activity. We have here the improvised tuning fork and we have here the otoscope. We have here the uh, watch with second hand and we have the gloves. And don't forget also to provide privacy to the patient. Always close the curtain or the door uh, before doing the procedure. And always observe infection control measures. Then after ensuring the privacy of the patient, now we're going to position him or her. Uh, so now we're going to inspect the auricles for color, symmetry of size, and position. So, check po natin, ma'am. So, now we're going to palpate the auricles for texture, elasticity, and areas of tenderness. Gently pull the auricles upward and backward for adults. Then, we're going to fold the pina forward. It should be recoil. Push the tragus. Apply pressure on the mastoid pratus. May masakit po ba, ma'am? Wala po. Then, we're going to inspect the external auditory myatus. So now we're going to assess the gross hearing activity of our patient. Uh, so ngayon ma'am, kailangan ko pong malaman kung naririnig niyo po yung normal voice ko. Uh, malinaw po ba? Kapag nagsasalita po ako, malinaw po. So if the patient has difficulty in hearing the normal voice, we're going to perform the whisper test. We're going to perform the whisper test. Uh, I will stand beside the patient, 1 to 2 feet. And I'm going to whisper a phrase, then I will ask her to repeat. Ma'am, magsasalita po ako. Uh, gagayahin niyo po kung naririnig niyo po ako. Umuulan ngayon. Umuulan ngayon. For that, we're going to perform again on the other side. We're going to perform the watch tick test. So ngayon, ma'am, uh, sabihin niyo po sa akin kung naririnig niyo po yung sunod po ng relo. Naririnig niyo po ba, ma'am? Naririnig po. Then next, we're going to perform the Weber test. We're going to use the tuning fork. Ma'am, naririnig niyo po ba yung vibration po ng tuning fork? Opo. Ngayon, ma'am, lalagay ko po tong fork sa likod ng tenga niyo. Sabihin niyo po sa akin, ma'am, kung wala na po kayo naririnig. Wala na po? Wala na. Wala na po? Wala na. Uh, so, yun lang po ma'am. Maraming maraming salamat po sa kooperasyon. Then, after doing the procedure, now remove the gloves if we use gloves. Then, do the medical asepsis again and don't forget to document the result.